Hi, this is Dr. Ballard. I'd like to take a few minutes now to show you how to do a urine and saliva pH test. This is a, a very useful test to do. It's simple, it's inexpensive, and it helps you monitor the condition of your body. I don't use it as a diagnosis. I think that people are misguided to think that they can uh, diagnose cancer and things like that with pH. On the other hand, there's a lot of research done, uh, particularly in Europe, on urine and saliva pH as being a way to monitor um, the alkalinity and the acidity of the body, which in turn is reflective of the amount of stress going on, particularly inflammation in the body. So we know, for instance, that uh, people who are losing a lot of bones that, uh, uh, to osteoporosis uh, actually often have very highly acidic urines. And what's happening is that the body is trying to steal the calcium from the bones in order to alkalize the body. So if you are already alkaline, you're less likely to be stealing the calcium and demineralizing the bone. So the way this test is done, it's a first morning urine. So what you want to do is when you wake up for the day, uh, you want to have this already prepared in your bathroom. And it's very simple. All you do is take this out, open up the package, take off the foil wrapper, um, pull out a couple of inches of paper, and then put it back together, and then pull out a couple inches. So when you go into the morning bathroom, you, what you do is you pull off the tape, tear that off, and you urinate on that little strip. It's going to turn color. Each color is associated with a number, and that's the number you want to record. Then you throw that little strip away, pull out another one of a couple inches, and spit on that. Uh, or if you want to be dainty, you can uh, uh, salivate in a spoon and dip your paper in the spoon and the saliva. And the same thing. It'll turn color. And there's a number. You write down that number. If you do that for five to seven days, you'll get an average of what your pH is running. Generally, anything below seven is considered acidic. Anything above seven is considered alkaline. Uh, depending on how far below uh, that medium line it is indicates that uh, you're running acidic or very acidic or extremely acidic. And there are therapies that can correct that. Now, what you want to avoid and when you start to correct pHs is any kind of, of alkalizing water or alkalizing mineral or anything like that. You don't want to cover up the problem. You want to find out why you're running acidic. Do you have too many toxins? Are you not digesting well? Do you have too much stress in your life? Are you eating a fairly acidic diet? There's lots of reasons for a person to be running acidic, and that's what you want to get at. And that's what a good holistic doctor can help you do. Thank you.